on the promotional team, you've chosen Boxer. Why? It's about to go down. <clears throat> um, because every other promoter out here is a scumbag. What did he say? <laughs> Frank Warren behind me. Been lying and cheating his way through boxing for the last couple decades. Scumbag. Eddie Hearn, Frank Smith, they did everything they could to try and make fight against Conor Ben. Still go ahead. Why don't you fight Hamza Shiraz, scumbag? After knowing that they, uh, you know, that he was on steroids. Scumbag. Lock fighters up in slave contracts. Scumbag. Oh, and, you know, Ben Shalom's a very cool guy too. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG Edgy. And praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. So we was watching the press conference for Better Be Even Bivol, man. I, I'm sorry. I'll be laughing a little bit. But Chris Eubank Jr., man, he stole the show. <laughs> I'm talking about unequivocally, man. He let off a little rant that went in on Frank Morin and uh, Eddie Hearn, man. I'm talking about Earn with Hearn. Well, he didn't, apparently. You know, and Frank Ward, he said that, hey, man, this guy's he out here land sharking people, you know, and being a bad businessman, practicing terrible business practices, you know, and suing folks, according to uh, 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 the Chris, you know, say Chris Jr., uh, Eubank Jr. So, you know, it's just funny. I can't show the, the clip in this entirety, obviously, because, I, well, I don't know if it's obvious to you all, but I can't show the entire clip, unfortunately, because I will get copyrighted. But I can show you splices of it and highlight the important parts of it. So check out some of these parts right here, man. Every other promoter out here is a scumbag. Frank Warren behind me. Been lying and cheating his way through boxing for the last couple decades scumbag eddie hearn frank smith they did everything they could to try and make fight against conor ben still go ahead why don't you fight after, Charette, scumbag. after knowing that they uh you know that he was on steroids scumbag lock fighters up in slave contracts scumbag Us i would say the only promoter that i know for sure isn't a scumbag is his excellency turkey al Sheikh. <laughs> He isn't trying to use lawyers and accountants to uh, lock fighters up in slave contracts. He's a man of God. He's a man of religion. That's what's most important to the people of Saudi Arabia. And, uh, and pay fighters what they're worth. Oh, and, you know, Ben Shalom's a very cool guy too. Yeah, so he basically said that, man, they're scumbags, they steal money, they're not in it for the betterment of the fighters, they're not in it for the betterment of the sport, and they don't care, you know, they just really take advantage of people, which, you know, a lot of businessmen are accused of that, to be fair, you know, especially promoters, you know, we've seen it, all we've seen these accusations towards uh, Frank Warren, obviously, before we've seen it uh, with other fighters as well, and we've seen it towards uh, Don King, of course, Bob Arum, and some others, but I would... At the end of the day, if you agree with it or not, we definitely seen it with Oscar De La Hoya. I can't forget about that with his, you know, battles and back and forth with old cinnamon, you know, Canelo Alvarez. He, he come closer, I'm, I, I, I fuck him. Huh? But whether you agree with it or not, you have to respect any man with a pulse, any person with a pulse, not just males, uh, but women too, you know, if you, you have to respect the fact that you bank addressed it in front of them, man. He didn't go to Twitter. He didn't wait till he got home. He didn't wait till he was far away. Right in front of him, he told him how he feel, how he feels, how he felt, and how he's feeling. And he said it with his chest and he said everything that was on his mind, man, because there was nothing but space and opportunity. He took advantage of that and addressed them right there. So at the very least, at a bare minimum, I have to applaud him for that, man, because a lot of people don't do that now. You know, Frank Warren was a little upset. You know, Eddie Hearn just sat through it and soaked it all in. You know, but Frank Warren wasn't going. Frank, <laughs> Frank Warren looked like he wanted, he wanted to jump over the table. Like, Let me at him. Let me at him. Chris. <laughs> Frank Warren said, hey, man, I might be a promoter, but hey, that don't mean I can't fight. You know what I'm talking about? And so uh, Frank Warren was even trying to cut him off and interrupt. And Chris Eubank stood his ground. I didn't let the old man speak over him, man. He said, that, "Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all took my money, tried to squeeze every money out, uh, all the money out of me. You know what I'm saying? My onions, and you uh, put me in bad deals and bad positions. Even highlighting the fact that uh, uh, Eddie Hearn tried to make the fight between uh, uh, Chris Eubank Jr. And, and and Conor Ben. You know, they're both sons of legends, British boxing legends. He tried to make the fight despite already knowing that Conor Ben was on PEDs. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all." 
directly putting uh, Chris Eubank Jr. in potential harm's way. And so he highlighted that. He said that they have uh, fighters in slave contracts, you know what I'm saying? And um, that he just, and, 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 and uh, he basically just highlighted that they're not good for <laughs> good for boxers. So it's crazy. Maybe put them on blast. But then also the good thing is he gave credit where credit is due and he shouted out Big Turk, you know what I'm saying? And said he's a God-fearing man and that he's the only one in, in, uh, in addition to Ben Shalom for boxer, he shouted out too. He said, man, these two guys, you know, are, are are doing great for boxing man and i thought that was dope that he shot them out so they they're actually putting putting in work for the betterment of boxing and he saluted them man so i thought that was dope it wasn't all bad but it was just funny that he he definitely went out the neck of frank warren and uh, eddie hearn y'all let me know what y'all think about this what do you <laughs> what do you think it was inappropriate do you think it was appropriate and, or do you appreciate it i mean i just see it as, i just see it as entertainment man i'm glad he did it and i like the fact that he did it as a man in their face when they were face to face or as close to face to face as they could be in the same vicinity directly you know in the physical he didn't have to he didn't wait to go do it uh, electronically or on the internet you know what i'm saying it was very refreshing to see somebody address their issues with other people in their presence you know what i'm saying as opposed to the most cowardice things that people do and the bitch assness that it takes for you to go run to twitter after you just saw the person or act like you're all buddy buddy after you just dogged them uh, uh somewhere else you know what i'm saying so y'all let me know what y'all think about that uh but the doctor's out man i appreciate y'all rock with me and remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.